Earth is under attack from space. Okay, that was clickbait. But stick around because the science is rad as hell. Every second of every day, subatomic particles from space bombard the Earth. These are called cosmic rays, and you may have seen them in the news recently. A few days back, it was announced that researchers had discovered the second most energetic cosmic ray ever. They called it Amaterasu, and one of my mutuals, Jorge, made an excellent video about it, which is linked in the description. But cosmic rays are more than just spectacles, they're windows into our universe. Cosmic rays have three primary sources, the sun, our own galaxy, and beyond our galaxy. Of these, solar cosmic rays are the least energetic, but most common. It's commonly thought that they're primarily the result of solar flares. On the other hand, galactic and extragalactic cosmic rays are far trickier to pin down. Light rays don't significantly deviate on their way to our telescopes, but because cosmic rays are primarily protons, which are electrically charged, the tangled magnetic fields filling our galaxy make it very hard to figure out their origins. Nonetheless, clever astrophysicists have figured out that supernovas and active galactic nuclei play at least some role in the production of the cosmic rays that we see. In the case of supernovas, the primary mechanism by which the cosmic rays get their energy is from something called Fermi acceleration. This is an umbrella term for acceleration due to localized chunks of magnetic fields. For example, charged particles can accelerate by bouncing off of the magnetic fields found in interstellar clouds that are approaching them. Alternatively, they can accelerate by siphoning energy from turbulent magnetic fields near shock waves, such as those originating from supernova. On the other hand, it's believed that active galactic nuclei accelerate cosmic rays by a different mechanism called centrifugal acceleration. Effectively, the rotating magnetic fields of these enormous objects trapped charged particles around them, accelerating them as they rotate until they have enough energy to escape. Then, they're flung out into space, and some of them end up here at home. And weirdly enough, they can have real-world effects. Famously, it's thought that a Super Mario 64 speedrun attempt was helped along by a stray cosmic ray. Allegedly, a cosmic ray passed through the memory in the game, changing a single bit of data and caused Mario to warp vertically. While it hasn't been confirmed, no other explanation has proven satisfactory. Unfortunately, most interactions with cosmic rays are less positive. Random bit flips happen occasionally in electronics on the ground and somewhat more frequently in spacecraft. To prevent catastrophic errors, we spend lots of money to harden our sensitive electronics to this phenomenon. In 1996, IBM estimated that one error per month occurs for 256 megabytes of memory. Not much, but it does happen, and strangely, it happens less during peak solar activity. Cool, right?